Here we are, gorgeous day. Hard Scrabble Vineyard, Linden Winery. Choose rule. Hey, Ira. Hey, Paul. Here we are at Linden. I think one of the best wineries east of California, although you don't even have to qualify it that way. It's a different style. You can't really just compare it to California. Hard Scrabble Mountain, and over there we'll see Rattlesnake Mountain. Rattlesnake Mountain over there. Hard Scrabble Vineyard over here. Shenandoah National Park is five or six miles behind us. Put it in the pond. That's your pudding right there, man. That's your pudding. That's a pig pudding. That's your pudding right there. That's your pig pudding. That's your pig pudding. Chester Gap Winery again with Ira and Paul. Mm. How are the wines so far, guys? Oh, you know, they have red and white. Tasty. Strange, strange uh, uh, libations from Gascony. But I you believe. know what's even better? The <laughs> crullers. No, I, the barbecue donuts were excellent. excellent. Barbecue donuts. We're going to get those on the way home. Chester Gap, pretty spectacular. The vineyard is right over here. This is the vineyard right here, Chester Gap. Playing some David Ed Dave Edmonds on the uh, Victrola, or probably the Pandora. Spectacular here. <laughs> Very postmodern. <laughs> This is Glen Manor Vineyard, south of Front Royal, Virginia. Stunning. That is Shenandoah National Park and Skyline Drive we're looking up. Uh, you can't see any cars up there now, but sometimes you can. We're kind of at the north end of Shenandoah National Park. And the wines are spectacular. That is the vineyard up there on the hill. Wow. Welcome to Blumey Parker. We are here in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. G -G. Undisclosed location. We're shooting from an undisclosed location. Here in Trump's America, you can't that's be very too safe. important. You need to can't be careful. Be safe. Gordon was not with us in Virginia just a week ago when I was with Ira and Paul. Well, he lives in Vermont now, so it's a it's bit tough. Well, he it's lives in undisclosed. Vermont. It's undisclosed. Vermont. It's undisclosed. It's an undisclosed state. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, but he is here tonight to help us taste two really excellent wines. For which I'm very grateful. So the first is a white wine, and it's an unusual grape. It's called Petit Mansang. It's not widely planted or widely cultivated. Uh, we like it a lot. It's doing very well in Virginia, a few of the wineries we went to. It's a white grape originally from the Pyrenees region in France. And who's the producer, Kevin? This is Glen Manor. Outstanding. Probably can't see that, but Glen Manor. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll post the website and all that. Uh, it's beautiful. Right, You look up right at the Shenandoah National Park. Now this one, it's been open for a while. We had refrigerated. So it's showing it. much better. We recommend yeah. actually not leaving white wines in the refrigerator right until wow. you serve them. You should take them out like a half an hour, an hour before that, but they show much better. Lovely color. It's light. It's, uh, but you know, straw, you say. I like, I like mm. straw. But a beautiful nose. Pineapple mm, wonderful and stone fruit, fruit, stone fruit peach. pineapple, peach. It's wonderful. And very creamy. We were talking about the mouthfeel and the physical feel in your mouth is something in addition to the flavor profile. This is a wonderful creamy mouthfeel wow. to it. Very and, noticeable. And it still has a nice long finish. It's a bit tart, a bit dry. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think now even more it tastes like a Riesling. And the, the wonderful woman at the tasting room at Glen Manor was saying it's kind of like our Riesling in Virginia. And I could see that. If, if, I, if you told me this was a sort of an off-dry Finger Lakes Riesling, yeah, I would sweet, believe it. Yeah, not sweet, but just a, just a bit off-dry. And would go great with an Asian food, any spicy dish like that. Strong cheese, wonderful as an aperitif. This is a great one. We were also thinking with seafood. 
So seafood that has a bit of fat and buttery, but also acidic. So scallops. I was thinking shrimp. scallops would be great. Scallops or shrimp, uh, which is not a, not a seafood of the people either. Scallops are a little pricey, but that's true. Speaking of pricey, ceviche. Ceviche. speaking of pricey, ceviche. Um, what does this come in at? Uh, I believe this was around twenty-two dollars. We can check on their website to make sure. An interesting thing, though, about this wine: fourteen point four percent alcohol for a white wine. That's pretty high. Which I can tell you on take four of this, I'm actually feeling it right now. You notice that this is a rather alcoholic white wine. And I blame climate change, although I don't know that for sure. It could have been the harvest. They might have harvested later. They might have harvested, in, in, you know, intentionally thinking they were going to get the fourteen percent, or, or maybe it, not. They could have been surprised. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a very high alcohol level for a white wine, but it carries it well you don't you don't think it's hot or unbalanced when you're drinking no, it's anything well but balanced. actually it's delicious it would also go well with blue cheese or a strong cheese mm. I think. delicious so petite love, man sang and remember that name because kevin how do you know when the opera's over when the petite man sang there you go all right so um what else do we have here kevin we're sticking with the petite uh somewhat coincidentally uh, this is a Petit Verdot, and now uh, this is from Linden Vineyards, which is, we think is one of the best in Virginia. I like Linden a lot. And Petit Verdot is showing very well in Virginia. We also had one from Glen Manor, as a matter of fact, that was very good. And Petit, uh, like with Petit Syrah, it's not necessarily the best way to think of the grape, because it is, in not fact, a all. very big grape. Not at all. And if you haven't had it before, you might have had it and didn't know it. It's usually a blending grape in blending Bordeaux grape wines, in Bordeaux, with yes. a Cabernet Sauvignon mm -hmm. or Merlot, for example. Yeah. But increasingly like we one. see it, certainly from California, um, and mm. uh, in this case Virginia made it as its own wine. Very dark, opaque, Inky. practically, Inky. yes. Of course, when you have Kevin as a background, that big black shirt is totally inky. Yeah. Well, against the white pants. And starting off in the nose and carrying through to the palate, um, a lot of earth. I'm getting some smokiness and spice to it. But a very rich, dark. Mostly wine. earth on the nose for me. Uh, now, on the palate, uh, I mean, it's just getting better and better. This has also been open for probably an hour or more. I would recommend decanting like I do for almost all red wines. Wow. Um, it's very substantial. It could go with Italian food, I think, which is maybe a little bit surprising. Definitely meat. Certainly with steak, with duck. duck I think it would be fantastic. Talked about it would be duck. great. But it also, it's it's fine by itself. You don't need food for it. It's not overly fierce, overly tannic, or anything like I that. I wouldn't mind having know, a little salami or something sure. right now. Delicious. would be helpful with this one. It is a big wine. So this is and 2011. Um, we think maybe it could last another you know few years or whatever. Jim Law, the winemaker, who's outstanding, he thought maybe like it Jim could. Law a lot. But it's drinking very well right now. And uh, it's a big wine. And Kevin, tell us what the price of this big boy might be. A little pricey. I think it was $35 or even more. It's a real problem with Virginia I, wines. Virginia the wines. The people, Kevin, the people cannot afford them. No, neither can I. Very rarely can I afford <laughs> I don't it's know too, if they went crazy. Virginia I wines are too expensive. I think that's just the problem in general. Now, again, you're drinking local. You're supporting local, that's local key. Industry. Local agriculture, local industry. It's very small. Only very 20, good idea. 20 acres. Very small. Uh, Linden is very small. And I don't know, only probably a few thousand cases a year. It's outstanding. You go there, you meet the winemaker himself and the people that work there, and it's beautiful. So you are supporting local industry. And again, this is from this is Petit Verdot from Linden, um, which we paired in this tasting with the uh, Petit Mansang from Glen Manor. Highly recommend both of those wineries and others in Virginia. Virginia They're outstanding. Great the wines. Time. Support your local wineries. Thanks for coming to this episode of Blow Me Parker. We'll see you again soon.